The Boeing Pelican was a conceptual design for a massive ground effect aircraft proposed by Boeing in the early 2000s. Envisioned as a supermassive transport vehicle, the Pelican was designed to operate both in ground effect over water and at higher altitudes like a conventional aircraft. With a wingspan of 500 feet and a length of 400 feet, it was intended to carry payloads of up to 1,400 tons, making it one of the largest aircraft concepts ever conceived. The Pelican would have utilized ground effect, a phenomenon where aircraft experience increased lift and reduced drag when flying close to the surface to enhance efficiency during low-altitude flights over oceans. While the project never moved beyond the conceptual stage, it highlighted Boeing's innovative approach to addressing future heavy lift transportation needs, particularly for military logistics and large-scale cargo operations. The Pelican remains a fascinating example of aerospace engineering ambition. Sixth-generation fighter jets represent the cutting edge of aerial combat technology, moving beyond the capabilities of their fifth-generation predecessors. These aircraft are envisioned to be highly networked, possessing advanced artificial intelligence for autonomous decision-making, and capable of operating in contested environments with sophisticated electronic warfare capabilities. They are expected to incorporate advanced propulsion systems, potentially including directed energy weapons and hypersonic capabilities, while also exploring options for optionally manned or unmanned operations. Stealth technology will remain a crucial aspect, but it will likely be augmented with advanced sensor fusion and cyber warfare capabilities. The goal is to create a platform that dominates the battle space through a combination of speed, agility, information superiority, and advanced weaponry, ensuring air dominance for decades to come. In the 1970s, the USSR began shifting its fuel energy and raw material base to Siberia, the far north, and the far east, regions characterized by extreme distances, harsh climates, and a lack of infrastructure. Helicopters like the Mi-6 and Mi-10K became vital for transporting heavy equipment, but their payload capacities were often insufficient. To address this, the Mill Design Bureau, in collaboration with TSAGI, explored the concept of a super-heavy helicopter, leading to the development of the Mi-32. Designed as a tri-rotor helicopter using components from the Mi-26, the Mi-32 aimed to lift payloads of up to 55 tons, catering to both civilian and military needs. Despite extensive research, wind tunnel testing, and positive evaluations, the project was never realized due to technical and financial challenges, leaving the Mi-32 as a bold but unfulfilled vision in Soviet helicopter engineering. NASA is constructing a piloted X-plane, designed from scratch to fly faster than sound with the latest in quiet supersonic technologies. The mission, known as the Lobone Flight Demonstrator, will be to demonstrate the ability to fly supersonic, yet generate quiet sonic booms. NASA say the plane will provide crucial data that could enable commercial supersonic passenger air travel over land. Currently, regulations based on aircraft speed ban supersonic flight over land. NASA hopes this mission will demonstrate how effective the quiet supersonic technology is in terms of public acceptance by flying over a handful of U.S. cities, which have yet to be selected. The uniquely shaped hole in the x design is the reason for its quiet sonic boom. This particular definition generates supersonic shockwaves, sending them away from the aircraft in a way that prevents them from clashing to form louder booms. Unlike a conventional aircraft design which coalesce as they expand away from the airplane's nose and tail, the much weaker shockwaves reach the ground still separated. Imagine an aircraft with wings so unconventional that they form a complete circle around the fuselage. Yes, you listened that right, a circular wing, or more precisely, a ring wing. This isn't a concept from a sci-fi movie, it's an actual design by Lockheed. The Lockheed Ring Wing commercial transport was envisioned to be a substantial aircraft, measuring 52 meters in length with a wing circumference of 7.4 meters. 
the wing would attach to the fuselage at a low mid-length point and arch back 27 degrees to join the tail, reaching a total height of up to 23 meters. One of the most intriguing aspects of this design was its potential for fuel efficiency. The aircraft could accommodate up to 120 passengers and was particularly well suited for commuter routes that didn't require high altitudes. The ring wing design offers some unique aerodynamic advantages. Because there are no conventional wingtips, the wingtip vortices and the downwash they cause are minimized. This results in the wing generating more lift, allowing for shorter runways, reduced fuel consumption, and minimal impact from crosswinds. Gyroplane Nisus wants the pilot and passenger to savor panoramic views in the air. The design team installs a full circumferential frame to securely enclose the flyers inside the cabin, all while providing scenic landscapes. Unlike traditional helicopters, the Nisus relied on an unpowered rotor for lift and a separate propulsion system for forward thrust, making it mechanically simpler and more fuel efficient. Its compact design and ability to operate in confined spaces made it ideal for urban mobility, emergency medical services, and reconnaissance missions. The Nisus also featured advanced avionics and lightweight composite materials, enhancing its performance and safety. While the gyroplane Nisus remained a conceptual design, it represented a forward-thinking approach to modern aviation, highlighting the potential of autogyros in addressing future transportation challenges. The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is a legendary military transport aircraft renowned for its versatility, durability, and reliability. First introduced in the 1950s, it has become one of the most widely used aircraft in military history, serving over 60 nations. Designed to perform a variety of missions, including troop and cargo transport, medical evacuation, aerial refueling, and humanitarian aid, the C-130 is capable of operating in challenging environments, from rugged airstrips to disaster zones. Its four turboprop engines provide exceptional performance, allowing it to carry heavy loads over long distances. The aircraft's rugged design, combined with its ability to adapt to diverse roles, has made it a cornerstone of military and civilian operations worldwide. The C-130 Hercules continues to evolve, with modern variants incorporating advanced technology, ensuring its relevance for decades to come. The Renault Air 4 is a futuristic, innovative concept car that reimagines the classic Renault 4L for the modern era. Designed to celebrate the 60th anniversary of the iconic 4L, the Air 4 is a flying car that combines retro charm with cutting-edge technology. Unlike its predecessor, this vehicle is fully electric and features a drone-like design with four propellers, allowing it to hover above the ground. Its lightweight carbon fiber body and sleek, angular design pay homage to the original 4L while embracing a bold, avant-garde aesthetic. The Renault Air 4 symbolizes the brand's commitment to innovation, sustainability, and pushing the boundaries of automotive design, offering a glimpse into the future of mobility. The world's first amphibious flying passenger motorcycle, called the Skyrider X1, has just been unveiled at CES in Las Vegas. It rides, it flies, autonomously, no less, and it'll be pretty darn wild if it does what it says on the tin. On the ground, it could be street legal as an electric moped, stabilized by what appear to be automated outrigger training wheels. If the traffic gets too much and you feel like taking off, all you need to do is fold out the forearms, power up the eight coaxial propellers, set your destination, hit go and enjoy the sensation of flight. The Skyrider X1 boasts a maximum flight speed of 62 miles per hour. Its flight endurance varies depending on the battery configuration, with the base model offering a claimed 25 minutes and the extended range version providing up to 40 minutes of flight time. This vehicle, designed for both air and land travel, aims to deliver a swift and versatile personal transportation solution.
The BBA Quiet Jet was an experimental aircraft developed in the 1960s by the Douglas Aircraft Company, aimed at exploring innovative solutions for reducing noise pollution during takeoff and landing. Designed as a small, twin-engine jet, the Quiet Jet featured a unique configuration with its engines mounted above the wing to shield ground observers from engine noise. This design was part of a broader effort to address growing concerns about the environmental impact of aviation, particularly in urban areas near airports. Although the Quiet Jet demonstrated promising noise reduction capabilities, it never progressed beyond the prototype stage due to limited commercial interest and the technical challenges of scaling the concept for larger aircraft. Despite its limited success, the DBA Quiet Jet remains a notable example of early attempts to balance aviation progress with environmental considerations, paving the way for future advancements in quieter aircraft technology. The Solar Impulse 2 is a revolutionary solar-powered aircraft designed to demonstrate the potential of renewable energy in aviation. Developed by Bertrand Picard and André Borsberg, this ultralight aircraft features a wingspan of 72 meters, covered with over 17,000 solar cells that power four electric motors. With an efficient energy storage system, it can fly both day and night without using a single drop of fuel. In 2016, Solar Impulse 2 became the first solar-powered plane to complete a round-the-world flight, proving that clean energy can achieve extraordinary feats in aviation. Its success continues to inspire advancements in sustainable flight technology. Airbus has unveiled a futuristic airplane design which it claims could cut carbon emissions by 20%, codenamed Maverick. It blends the wing and the body to produce less aerodynamic drag while making for more spacious cabin interiors. At 2 meters long and 3 meters wide, Maverick is a small-scale, remote-controlled aircraft demonstrator. Inside, a spacious configuration opens up the design space, enabling the possible integration of various other types of propulsion systems. Noise is expected to be significantly reduced thanks to a shielded engine that is mounted above the central body. A blended wing body design also allows a more comfortable cabin layout, enabling passengers to benefit from additional legroom and larger aisles for more personal comfort. The Leonardo AW609 is a cutting-edge tilt-rotor aircraft that combines the versatility of a helicopter with the speed and range of a fixed-wing airplane. Designed for both civilian and military applications, the AW609 can take off and land vertically like a helicopter, yet it can transition to forward flight, achieving speeds and altitudes comparable to turboprop aircraft. This unique capability makes it ideal for a variety of missions, including search and rescue, offshore transport, executive travel, and emergency medical services. With its advanced avionics, spacious cabin, and ability to operate in challenging environments, the AW609 represents a significant leap forward in vertical lift technology, offering unparalleled flexibility and efficiency for operators worldwide. The idea of Nazi flying saucers is a fascinating yet controversial topic that blends history, conspiracy theories, and science fiction. According to various speculative accounts, Nazi Germany allegedly developed advanced disc-shaped aircraft, often referred to as Hanabu or Vril craft, during World War II. These stories claim that the Nazis were experimenting with cutting-edge propulsion systems, anti-gravity technology, or even reverse-engineered extraterrestrial designs to create these futuristic flying machines. Some conspiracy theorists suggest that such projects were part of secret programs aimed at gaining a technological edge in the war. However, mainstream historians and scientists dismiss these claims due to a lack of credible evidence, attributing the myth to post-war fascination with Nazi engineering, Cold War-era UFO lore, and sensationalized media.
This amazing aircraft developed by the Japanese company SkyDrive, the SD-03 is a compact, single-seat vehicle that combines advanced electric propulsion with cutting-edge aerodynamics to enable quiet, efficient, and eco-friendly flight. Its sleek design and multiple rotors allow it to take off and land vertically, making it ideal for navigating crowded urban environments where space is limited. The SD-03 has successfully completed manned test flights, marking a significant milestone in the development of personal air transportation. As part of the growing EVTOL industry, the SkyDrive SD-03 aims to reduce traffic congestion, lower carbon emissions, and provide a futuristic solution for short-distance travel in cities.